Alrighty guys, we're going to go ahead and review Ash Shampoo Movie Studio Pro 3. Now I'm using the free trial right now. If you guys also want to use the free trial, you can go to ashshampoo.com and then click on downloads right here and you'll get this list right here. Scroll down all the way down here to Ash Shampoo Movie Studio 3 right here and click on the blue download button right here and that's how you can download also a free trial. Now... <clears throat> I shampoo has always they've had they have all kinds of stuff as you can tell they make a lot of stuff guys and um movie studio pro 3 it looks pretty simple a little more simple than uh two that we had looked at now there's a couple things you could do here you can create a new project but when you do that it's going to ask you if you want to do simple or expert i recommend to always click on expert because it gives you all the features you go to simple it'll give you just the simple features all right so always go expert mode and then there's also create project using a theme wizard basically what the steam wizard does is it puts an um, intro and an um, outro basically like an intro to your movie and then like credits at the end you can also cut commercials so if you have a, a show or a or a movie that has commercials in it, a, a video file like that, you can use this to cut the commercials. And we'll look at all this. You can also convert movies. But let's go ahead and jump right into create new project. And like I said, always select expert. Trust me, it's not that it's not going to be more complicated. It's actually going to be easier to use expert mode. So let's go to expert mode and let's take a look. And depending on how uh, fast your computer is, I'm using a laptop right now that is very, very slow. So it, what I noticed is this, this program is actually a little slow. On the reviews of this on PC Magazine, which we'll look at here in a bit, it said that it was very slow. But let's jump right in. So right here, you can click and drag your video files into this window here, or you can click here where it says add files. And that's the first thing you want to do is add a file add your video files in here so click on this blue add files button and this little window will pop up go ahead and look for your video wherever it is the desktop documents videos here or music if you want to put music and videos together I'm just gonna pick this video of my dog and we're gonna use that as an example of how to edit on here so here it is now one thing I don't like about this one is you can't play it because sometimes I like to play them before I add them down here. But I have not found a way to actually play it. Most video editing software, you double click it to play it. And then it plays here on the right hand side. Because here on the right hand side is your player here. Now, what instead of uh, just playing it, it actually adds it to the timeline. And then you can play it after that. So I'm going to press play here. Remember, my laptop is a little slow. So it might play it a little slow. There it goes. See how slow that goes? I have tried other video editing software on this laptop that worked perfect. So this Ash Shampoo Movie Studio is, is very slow. I imagine even if you have a fast computer, I think it's pretty slow. But anyway, to add it down to the timeline here, you either double click it or you click on this little add button here. Here on the in the middle, you have your media library. This is where you're going to have your library of stuff. And then you can click on transitions. This is where you're going to have your transitions. Text. This is where you can add text to your video. We have intros and credits. You can add those as well. Down here to the timeline. We have video effects. We have audio. And we have animation. Down here, this is the expert mode. I like it because it breaks it up right here. So here we have the main video files. We have the FX files. And when you put your mouse over them, it tells you what it is, which is good. That's good. Some software doesn't do that. Here's the transition track, the animation track, the text track, and the music. So this is where you put them on your... So this is called the timeline. This is where you put all your stuff right here. So, so one of the most basic things to know how to do in edit, uh, editing is uh, to cut your video. So we're going to go ahead on the timeline, just select the random spot right here. So I'm going to select here and then split at current position. So that's going to split the video right there. And then by splitting the video, then you can add transitions, which is what we're going to do next. All right. So now it's split. 
We're going to go to transitions. And then here in transitions, there's a lot of different things you could pick. There's blackout, there's blinds open. Now, like I said, for some reason, it don't let you play it on the right-hand side. I want to play it to see what it looks like. But for some reason, it doesn't let me. Because you want to be able to preview these to see what they look like, but you can't see what they look like until you add them into the video file. So that is a big no-no. You should be able to preview these on the right-hand side, but it doesn't let you. So that is uh, that's one of the things that I don't like about this one. But let's go. Just go ahead and select uh, blinds open. We're going to click and drag it down here to this transition, and let go right there. Now my laptop is going a little slow, guys. My main computer crashed and I'm fixing it at this moment. So I have to use my laptop for these videos. And man, is it slow. So I went ahead and clicked and dragged it in there. Looks like it didn't do nothing. We're gonna click on the add button here. So slow, man. Sometimes it can be very, uh, frustrating when you have a slow uh, software. Not, as, not only is my computer slow, but the software is very slow as well. So, man, it's so frustrating because you can't get it done quick. Look at this, how slow it is. Now it's crashing on me. All right. Um, let's go ahead and preview this and see how it looks like. Whoa, the whole program just crashed on me. Whoa, look at that. Oh, my God. All right. All right. That's it. I do not recommend this program. I usually don't do this very often, but the whole thing just crashed on me. And we have a rule in Louis Tutorial TV. If a program crashes on us like that, then we're done. I'm going to have to give this Ash Shampoo Movie Studio 3 Pro 2 out of 5 stars. Because, dang, 1 is like it doesn't work at all. 2 is it works, but then it crashes. I'm sorry, Ash Shampoo, but man, your Movie Studio Pro 3 sucks. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And hopefully I helped you guys not to download this one. There's a lot more uh, better studio, movie studio um, video editors out there. But, man, did you see that? It just crashed. It just crashed when I was trying to add something to it. A lot of you guys might say, oh, it was your laptop. But even in a slow computer, that should not happen, guys. That should not happen. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you soon in the next video editing software that actually works.